<laughs> That's good. Good job, Patricia. Number four, 300 is 125% of what number, Rosa? So 300 divided by 1.25 equals 240. Beautiful. So 300 is the park. 125% is the rate. We convert that 125%, move it over two spaces to the left, we get 1.25. 300 divided by 1.25. Rosa has said 240. Okay? Does that make sense? Is that right? How? How does that make sense? Because so you're dividing the 125 percent. 300 is 100 is 125 percent more than. Beautiful. Did you catch that? So 100 percent of 300, or 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 100 percent of 240 would be 240, right? Mm -hmm. But 125% is going to be more than the base number. Mm -hmm. You catch that? So if something is 125% more, that means it's even more than the base, the part. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes when we're going through these percent problems, our brains get conditioned to think that the part is always smaller than the whole, right? Because the part is a piece of the whole. And so we get to thinking that, oh, whatever number in the problem is, is smaller is obviously the part. Well, that is not always true. In this case, the part is actually larger than the base because the percent is more than 100% of the base. Does that make sense? Good job, Patricia. Good job, Rose.